morning. It's uh, Sunday, July 4th. Happy 4th of July, Independence Day. I am out here just doing an easy four miler. Because after yesterday, yesterday was six miles, so today, step down a little bit, a little easier, a little flatter route. I'm running east to west, or I said west to east right now. I'll go back and forth. It's a flatter course. I'm on Gray Bar Road right now. And uh, I'll take it right up here and uh, kind of just run around some of the neighborhoods. It's going to be, like I said, an easier course. Um, and let's see. The, the key is, see this, see I'm in 10th, my 10th week of training, which isn't a whole lot. And I'm still building the base. And it's all about building the miles. Not not doing any speed work yet, so to speak, but I, it's just the nature of where I live here in Nashville. I have no choice but to do is run some hills. So that uh, whether I want to or not, I'm getting some strengthening work in anyway. So, but uh, the uh, the point is. We're doing these runs very, very easy, and this will probably be the case for the next five, six months, or the next yeah, three months or so, I guess. It's still building, still building the consistency, getting out every morning and running, just doing something. So, that's it. I'll talk to you tomorrow. It's uh, Tuesday, July 6th. Now I'm doing this week. My plan is a different. I didn't. I looked at it the other day. It's different from what I thought. And that is, um, I ran. Let's see. Ran four miles on Sunday. Uh, we'll go. We'll run three miles today. Three miles tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Three miles on Thursday, and then a six miler on Saturday. So the long run, the six miler is the same as last week, but what I'm doing is adding an extra day on Wednesday, another day running, and knocking the mileage down on thir Tuesday and Thursday down three miles. So three times three miles, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then uh, Saturday I'll do a six miler, and on Sunday of course we had a four miler. So it'll be a 19 mile week. And again, I'm following the principle of just adding one mile per week, and uh, and then to, as as part of the as part of the build-up phase. So I will talk to you next next time. Good morning. It's Wednesday, July the seventh, and I'm here in Nashville doing a running three miles today. Yesterday was three miles, today is three miles, tomorrow's like three miles, three miles, so uh, a little different route. I'm running down Granny White Road, and I'm going to turn around right over when I get up, I get up here to, uh, I don't know what this is, Greenfield Road, and there's a little school in the corner, and I measured it as 1.7 miles from here to the, um, about a block away from home. So it's uh, it's going to be the run today. Beautiful morning as usual here in Nashville. Not too uh, not too warm yet. A little humid, but the temperature is only about 80 something. Probably about 80 degrees. Maybe in the 70s. I don't know. But it's a lot cooler than it'll be in a few hours. And the temperature will hit I think 95 today. So it for today. Good morning. It's uh, Thursday, June the 8th. And uh, another three-mile loop here. Same one I did yesterday. It's actually not a loop. It's more like an outback and a loop. <laughs> so, one thing that uh, I noticed yesterday near the end of the run I started getting uh, the cramp in the lower calf again like I did last Tuesday and this is a sign of two things possibly one is not properly hydrated although I've been trying to be careful to 
drink enough water, but in the morning, when you first wake up, it's, I mean, I'm probably more dehydrated in the morning than any other part of the day, so uh, it's one of the downsides of morning running. The other part is uh, the body, in the first thing in the morning, the body hasn't had a time, enough time to, to uh, warm up properly, so uh, I'm going to need to add probably another 5 to 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes just warming up, which means a little longer walk before I start walk, running, get a little stretching in the calf, just to get the muscle warmed, although it's in the 70s right now, and 80s, I don't know how much warmer the muscles can, can get, but you know, you get my point. So, uh, this is uh, something that I'll be battling with a little bit. The calf still feel a little bit of, like a quick cramp at any moment, but it's right now, it's okay. And what's surprising is over the weekend, when I did longer mileage, it didn't, doesn't bother me at all. So, I don't know what the deal is. It's just one of those things that it's going to have to struggle along with. Although, now that, now that I'm talking about it, on the weekends, I get up early, but... Uh, I don't run until a little later, so maybe that's it. Maybe just um, I do have enough more time to warm up on the weekends because I don't get up, you know, way half hour and run. It's usually a couple hours. So that's it for today. Talk to you tomorrow morning. It's uh, July 10th, Sun Saturday, and I'm out here doing running six miles. Uh, didn't get started until about 8, which makes a big difference because it's already pretty humid hot. And uh, the first half, first three miles or so, I was kind of nursing that sore right calf, making sure I didn't yank it. I don't need another Charlie horse today, so uh, kind of took it easy for the first 20 minutes or so. First half. And it started to ease up a little bit. Another runner. So, it's one thing you don't, don't want to do. You don't want to get injured. First rule of training. Train, don't strain. Some kind of run this morning. I don't know what they, they have water out here. Let's just see if they, how are you doing? Do you guys uh, have water out here every Saturday? Uh, the store does. Uh -huh. we're, we're a training group and we, won't be here every week, but they uh, some, usually somewhere around I think eight or so they put that water out. What training group are you with? Uh, a group called Team Excel, training for the Murfreesboro Half Marathon. Oh, okay. When is that? In October, October uh, 16th. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay. Well, you're on camera. All right. I do these little every week. I do a little summary of my running for the okay. week. Oh, yeah. Cool. Do you money for a local charity? Yeah, called Love Helps. Uh huh. And uh, we work in Nashville schools to promote positive character and responsible behavior. So okay. We have volunteers that read to kids and we give awards to kids who are doing well in school. Oh, that's cool. Huh. It's a fun little, fun little project. Yeah, yeah. So the Murfreesboro, what was the name of the race? Murfreesboro. Uh, Murfreesboro half. half. The middle half. half? It's called the middle half, technically. And it's in October? In October, yeah. Okay. Running in Murfreesboro. Okay, well, thanks a lot. All right, Good nice Bye-bye. So this is, so far has been a pretty brutal little six-miler. It's just hot and leg is kind of tight and, uh, I don't know, seems like I'm working hard, but the, uh, yeah, there are going to be days like this <laughs> when it's just kind of a, a slug fest where you just get the training done and uh, go home much, for much more than that. So uh, with that, I'm going to leave you. I got another, probably about mile and a half, two miles to go yet, so not very far. 15 minutes, I'd be done. So, uh, I'll see you next week. Bye.